What is going on YouTube fam? We are on the water again. We are out of South Haven and going for some coho. We're hearing good reports. We're out a little bit later than what we usually do. It's about 10 o'clock. Uh, water was terrible last night on the big lake. So it's calmed down quite a bit and it's a beautiful day. So we're, uh, we're pretty happy to be out. Uh, we're gonna show you some tips and tricks and uh, habits to, to keep in mind when you're out and show you what we're running. Um, so stay tuned, we'll see if we can get some big ones in the boat and just have a good time. Oh yeah, he's got one. All right guys, you wouldn't think the bite would be hot today with the water clarity, but people are on the piers already. They're doing good. We're about to get out here and there's a color line. That's what you're looking for when you're salmon fishing. It's color lines, fish like to stage up on them. We're heading for that and we are gonna see what we can do. Um, the water around the pier heads is decently brown right now, a little muddy, but about a quarter mile out, there's a nice color line where it turns more aqua. All right, let's see what we can do. All right guys, what we're using here is tattle flag boards. Line's gonna be attached to these two. When a fish bites it, pulls the flag down. That's the way you know you have a bite. So that's something you wanna keep an eye on when it's in the water. We set our rods the specific amount of leader that's out. We're gonna end up hooking this back one on first, all the way to the back. Yep, there he is. There's bite already. On the prop wash one. one. Oh, it's on that one. one. It was on this one. It got smoked. Did it? It oh, there's one. Ah. Dude, it got smoked. <laughs> it was like, this is. He's not there. There he is, on this side, bud. Yep, there's another one. Second rod right down. on that. Beautiful fish, gonna be a great eater. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. Got them with both the hooks. All right, this was. All right, guys. Reel it up to the tip. Hit the zero. Start letting it down. Tracking right. There we go. All right. There's 102. Good footage right there to start the day. Pull a little extra out. Now I'm gonna get back to hooking this tattle flag up. So 
we're going to hook this first one all the way back. Make sure you get it all the way back. That keeps it on the board. Then it runs to the front one. Put a little extra in your little extra in there. You go halfway in there. That way you can pop the board. Makes it come in way easier. And then throw it in the water. Let her out. Oh, you're already on. The I'm board. already on the board. All right, she's out. She's gonna pull into where she needs to be. All right, maybe we can get the last rod out. Oh, we had all of it. No, I didn't have this one out yet. Drop her in the water. Make sure she's tracking right. And she is. Click zero. Send her out. All right, 85, a little, little extra to put the board on. Nice size book before. Yeah, good job. You could a triple. Yeah. Definitely fish on the graph. There it is, there it is. All right, let's see. Inside board just went. Bigger fish. All right. I'll pop that board for you. What? Hundred and two ninety five ninety. This was eighty five. <laughs> <laughs> A little hopskies Mother trucker. Dang. I got it. You wasn't going anywhere. I think no. we got our I think we got our speed dialed this in. This one's this one's stuck. We need the other pliers. Damn, that got me good. Got you? Yeah. Hook got me when he flopped. Nah, I don't know yet. Tip number four. Yeah, Don't <laughs> fuck yourself. <laughs> What's up? There, yep, fish there. That's a blue and silver. Everything's getting bit. There ain't no, there's no pattern. A lot of these I can just flip. Oh, there you go. There you go. Double check. No, it's four. It's twelve or ten. It might even be ten. Same boom. Yeah. Ah. Every one of them is hooked deep. So our speed yeah. Is good. There's a tip. If you're hooking the fish well, that means your speed's dialed in. All right, guys. Another habit to get into: always check your speed. Watch what you're doing when you get the bites, when you get the fish. That way you can stay consistent. We're actually 
at a really good speed right now. We found out what they're biting on. Pretty much every bait, but the speed's been key. They've been, they've been smashing the thin fins. So we know that we're at a good speed to get the hookups and the fish are just staying pinned. So, tip of the day. That board, I'm gonna check that top board. Checking the board, she's riding back a lot farther than she should be. So you never know if there's something on it. You'll know when you get a bite, buddy. Yeah. See, this is why you check your boards. That would not ride right. That'll throw your whole spread off. Never know if you got weeds on it, a fish on it, or it's tangled. Zero out. She's tracking good. Let her go. The reels just got to change it. Rods there it is, there it is, third, third board, third board, second board, two, oh, two. two, you want it, take it. They like the little fat, eh? Yeah, they like that turn, don't they? Double now, hand them on Absolute mayhem. Hopefully I got that pullback. Did yours, uh, is still on there, Nick? Oh, you watch? When you go down, go down. You, go down you want to go up and then pull it down towards the motor. So you go, when you rip it, you rip it down, and that will pull it out of that clip. Feel that fin in there good. Is he in there good? That's a good fish. Lost mine. Ah, too bad. It's a hefty boy right there. Here, I got this. It's probably the hook set. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Let me grab your... Where's those players at? The there they are. There. Hold that guy up. Show me how he hit that thing. See how you hit it? Yeah. Dude, he just hammered it. Cool. There you go. I said that before and it was just a call. I see him back there. It's just a call. Yeah, all right. That's a good fish. He's got some pull to him, man. He's spinning. He's doing the old thing. Is he? Around. So if anybody wants to know how to do a real boat flip, Kyle's going to show you because I don't. There you go, buddy. Way to, way to keep it low. Keep him low, Jake. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a dandy. That's a nice size there, dude. Yeah. Nice. The looks to the eye socket. Show me, the damn show me what you got. Man. Right here, bud. Hold that beauty up, let me see it. Show him off to the friends at home. There he is. Beautiful chrome fish on that one. Don't lose him in the water. <laughs> <laughs> How many ways can we lose a fish? Seven in the box now, I believe. I believe so. I'll double count in just a minute here. Eight. That was a pretty fish. Right, that was not. There he is. Where? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Oh, yeah. He's got. Uh, Don't drag, buddy. This might give him a little heat, but only if he wants to run. Let him. Yeah, that's not a cold. No, this is not. This is a lake or something. Hey, watch that board too. He might be in that, to be honest. That could be why. <laughs> Maybe he ate both. All right. Yeah. See that? You left too much. Uh, you gotta leave a little string out if you're gonna flip them low. You get it too close to the okay. rod tip, it's gonna come up high at you, right? All right, you're right. Nice fish. Good fish, though. Great fish. That's a really nice <laughs> one. Good quality. Wanna hold that rod? Yep, good quality. See if you can. I might be able to untangle you. Right here. Just get them on hooks. Get them in the live well. Get them out of the way. We'll worry about the mess. So dandy, hold on. Look at that, buddy. Good one. Right. Start cutting one. Yep. 
Let me get those scissors. Go inside water, inside water. Yep. Inside go ahead. Water. You go ahead. I got the rod. We're good. It's pandemonium. I am tangled up in this line. Got it, or you want the net? Oh, don't pull it, Matt. That was pretty close, man. <laughs> Does this board have one, Kyle? Uh, yep. Uh, pretty sure it does. I got it. We're good, we're good, we're good. He was, you good? Alright. Yeah, still doing long, or er, two shorts, I'm sorry. Alright. Alrighty. Hammered it on Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread? Wonder Bread, did it. Beautiful fish. Great coho. Number nine, number I think ten. that's number nine. That's two there. That's ten. That's ten. Outside board, outside board, fire board. You want me not let this out yet? It pinned that flag down. There you go. Got one? Oh yeah, that's a decent fish too. There you go. There you go. Nick method. How do you do it? Use the rod. Barboard maybe? Yep, barboard. Good. They got bigger. Show me that fish. Dandy fish. Alrighty. You might want to move because I might hit you with this fish. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Better safe than sorry. Nope, he just spit it, dude, at the boat. I didn't do anything wrong there. That was not my fault. Was not my fault there. Yeah. Fumble? Oh, outside board, or middle board, middle board, middle board. Dangerous it was, but that's a nice fish. Very nice fish. Do we need more footage? Are we still going to roll or what? What are we doing there? Uh, I, oh. Send it. Let's just fun fish Yeah, let's fun fish for a little. Ow. Watch out there, bud. Here, let me get the... Hold the rod. I mean, I was, Bleeding I was good? Oh, hey, okay, he's off. Well, I don't care. We're going to find ourselves a nice little, little pup to sit at. Have a, a have a burger in the beer. Here, oh, we got this. Almost went past the market. All right. Got some good Last fish of the day. Open, She's but, uh, a beaut. All right. Well, yeah. Pop that open. Let's double check cart count. And just make sure first. When we'll start skipping. Yeah. Fifteen fish. Three man limit in two hours. Ooh, man down. That is a good mess of fish. All right, we're gonna snip them, just like I show you guys in all my. I'm gonna hold that up and I'll snip them as I put them in. 
Just like I show you guys in every one of my videos, snip the gills, bleed the fish out, get nice clean fillets. All right, guys, we're all done. We went 15 for probably around 24 in two hours. It was a heck of a day. Uh, weather's starting to move in, so it's perfect timing for us to get off the water. Um, hopefully you guys like the tips and tricks and habits that I think you should get into when you're, when you're trolling boards um, and going for coho. So stay tuned. We're gonna do a coho catch and cook on this one and uh, we'll see what we do in the kitchen. So keep watching. So we're back in the kitchen now. We had an epic day of fishing yesterday. We ended up getting 15 coho salmon in two hours. That's a three man limit. It was absolutely bonkers. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed that part of the video. But for now, we're gonna make coho salmon and it is one of the best recipes that I've ever made and it is gonna be absolutely delicious. So hopefully you guys like it. Um, what we're gonna do, we have two sa uh, salmon fillets right here and we are gonna take half of each one because I'm going to do a recipe with the other half as well. And we're going to end up taking the main section of it. We're going to end up cutting off. Let me turn this around and then you're going to just fillet it off the skin. We're gonna save these tail sections for another recipe. We'll do that with the other one. Save that section. So now we have two amazing same size fillets. They're gonna cook up evenly and they're gonna be very, very tasty. Okay, first thing you wanna do is get a cast iron skillet, heat it up uh, to a medium high heat, add a little bit of olive oil to it. Get this all around. And then when that gets to a nice glistening uh, color, not color, but when it starts to glisten and right before it starts smoking, that's when you're gonna add your fish. So we're gonna let that heat up. We're gonna get the salmon ready to go. All right, now that we got the cast iron skillet heating up, um, what I have here, I'm gonna call it Tuscan salmon. And we're gonna take the salmon fillets, which I've already taken the pin bones out. That's pretty important. Um, you can kinda fillet them out if you want to, but I ended up pulling them all out um, so we don't have bones to deal with when we're eating it. So we got the salmon fillets. All we're gonna do is season one side of it with salt, pepper, and one more seasoning. And you can put as much on as you want. There's no right or wrong amount. And then you know me, gotta have my Everglades original. I love this stuff. We're just gonna go not too much with this because the salt and pepper already is on it. The oil's ready. It's just about ready to smoke. We're gonna throw the salmon on with the seasoned side up. All right, so we're gonna let that go and we're gonna let that cook to about two thirds of the way done. It's not gonna finish cooking until after. We're gonna actually let it cook the rest of the way inside the sauce and it's just gonna fall in love and be absolutely delicious. While that's going, we have a little bit of water boiling on the side. We're gonna take some angel hair pasta, get that going, and that's gonna be the base of the recipe. We're gonna get that down in there, and when that's ready, we'll start adding our other ingredients.
That's perfect. A little bit of crispiness on it. I'm going to put it to the side. All right. And now we're going to start adding the rest of our stuff. We still got the little tidbits that are from the fish, the oil, the seasoning, everything. Keep that in there. We're going to add about three tablespoons of butter. A little bit more. Let that melt down. This is just starting to build that base up for that nice, rich flavor. It's definitely going to be one of those uh, cold weather meals sometimes, but it's it's phenomenal. All right, we got the butter mostly melted down. We're going to add our garlic. It's about three cloves of garlic. I'm going to turn that back up to a medium heat and we're just going to simmer that for a minute and that butter just to try and get that nice garlic butter aroma and once that just starts to caramelize a little bit we're going to start adding our other stuff. Alright so now that we got the nice brown color on the garlic the butter's all melted it's been about two minutes probably in here we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our quarter to half a cup of tomatoes we're going to let those cook just until they start to split. All right, while those are cooking down, we're actually going to add a little bit more salt and pepper to this. You should smell the aroma coming off of this. It's absolutely phenomenal. All right, give these one last mix. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we have the parsley that we chopped. We're gonna add probably, oh, half a cup of parsley to this. And then about two cups of baby spinach. We're gonna wilt that down. All right, so that's wilted down real nice. The tomatoes are starting to soften up a lot. That's perfect, right where we want it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a quarter to a half a cup of heavy cream. About there. And give that a good mix. Turn that heat back up and you want it to get to a little simmer. And this is just building that cream sauce and it's gonna become nice and rich and flavorful. All right, so that's now at a simmer. You wanna keep stirring this. You don't want that to burn at all. So we're gonna let that sit there. We're gonna end up adding some nice fresh basil. And then that shredded Parmesan cheese, you can't forget about that. We're gonna add about a quarter cup of that this is just gonna thicken that sauce up and get nice and cheesy. We're gonna mix that in. You're gonna let that go for another minute or two until that cheese kind of melts in and gets nice and creamy. Then we're gonna add the fish back in and we're gonna simmer that off and finish the fish in the sauce and it'll be ready to go. All right, that cheese is melted, it's smelling so good right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these salmon fillets, we're gonna put these right on top. And then I'm gonna grab a spoon. And I'm just gonna ladle some of this over it and just kinda let that meld together and get delicious and finish cooking. That's gonna simmer another Oh, probably two to three minutes. 
and I'll see you when I plate it. All right, it's time to plate. What we're gonna do is get some noodles first. Put a nice batch on the plate. All right. Go ahead and grab that salmon. We're gonna place one of the fillets right on top. Get all that goodness off the spatula. Okay. Who can say no to a little extra sauce? Right over the top. All right, and there it is. That looks absolutely phenomenal. You know, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we had an absolute blast fishing, so hopefully there's more to come of that within the next couple weeks. I know coho are gonna be around for a while. Um, if you can, try this recipe. If you have any questions about it, throw it in the comments, let me know. Let me know about uh, any coho or any salmon or steelhead or anything that you guys have caught recently, and let's try this. Ooh, look at that, perfectly cooked. We're gonna get a little bit of the spinach and tomato. If I can not burn my face off. Oh my gosh. That is so good. That's restaurant quality food any day of the week. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. I'm gonna plate up a plate for my wife. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. I really do. Keeps me doing what I'm doing. So if you liked it, smash that like button. If you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, you guys have a good one.